additional sun output on Y channel. Okay, okay. Sound output very weak on my channel. Sound a lot on my channel. And we'll do some tune up. This is the, uh, the the cartridge uh, amplifier here. Uh, this is for MC. Uh, it's called head amp. One in here and one in here. It's kind of like a built-in modular. And I think uh, in order to repair, if we need to repair this, maybe need to get replacement from. Acuface company, but we uh, can repair this to the uh, cartridge amp. It's called equalizer amp. <laughs> Check the uh, voltage on the uh, output transistor first. Um, from the diagram here, it show the NPN transistor at 40 watt on the collector, and then the emitter here shows a 0.9 volt. And the B, the base, shows 1.5, I think it's 1.5. And then uh, PMP transistor, the collector shows minus 40 volt. And the emitter shows... Uh, minus uh, 0.9 volt and the base show uh, minus 1.5 volt so just have to check those uh, power transistor first before uh, take a look on the PC board itself After I take out all these uh, screws uh, on top of the uh, PCB, you can remove the bracket. This bracket holds the uh, PCB on the uh, chassis. So you can take it out and actually you can take this out uh, by pull 
the PCB output. So we can take it out like this. This is a on left channel. And then this is a right channel. After I take it out, I put R here. This means I take it off on the right side. And this one has L here. So this from the left side. Uh, so when I s switch the pole, I know which side is on left and which side is on right side. Because what I try to do is uh, determine uh, the problem is come from PG board or from the chest is inside any switch or wire the problem on the contact problem so when a switch is uh, right to left and left to right if the sound still on right side or um, then you can tell uh, the PV may not have problem it's only the contact or switch is problem but when you switch this become left side have problem and then the problem is on the PCV because after you switch the problem, you know, from left, from right, you know, come to the left side. That's been PCB a problem. So that's how you troubleshooting the problem or the uh, or the uh, preamplifier. Okay, what I, what I did is I uh, moved the support to this side and the left side move to this side so I want to check it is it a ball a problem or it's just connection okay let's turn on the power Come right side. The sounds on right side. So something wrong with the ball because the ball right side is working. In the beginning, it's on left side, but when I switch the ball, and the ball on right side is working. So that means the left side is not working. So I need to check this ball. So I look at the uh, schematic and I trace the, this is the center of the, uh, the, uh, um, the output and this is a VR1, you can adjust the, uh, the center voltage right here. So looks like this coming back and it's kind of like a feedback circuit right now i found they have short right here and from here to there i measure zero so i know something wrong with this capacitor here we have one zero point two two and one zero point uh point zero three three and I take one out here right now and 033 is okay and this is a 022 the problem so what I did and I took this uh, the 
uh, capacitor already, and this one's okay. But this is a 0 0.022. And when I measure it, I think it's short. You can see the meter here. I think it's short zero right now. Okay, so let's measure it right now. So we can see the zero right here. So, so this uh, capacitor is a short. I need to replace it. Did I replace this uh, uh, capacitor here? Both sides. When I measure the part, they are all good one. And so I think I find a problem. You see this uh, capacitor short. Um, so we can get to normal. I'm going to test the uh, hollow amplifier now. Have to repair. Thank you. 